I realize that this does not have a whole lot to do with the big clock project. However, I'm finding that when I get to a point in the project where I'm not too sure what I want to do or what direction I want to go, and I'm sort of at that stage right now because I've got to sort of think of how am I going to do the uh, winding mechanism, you know, I'm very easily distracted. In other words, I don't have to look too far to uh, find something different to do. Well, I'm thinking about my project. When I made this air cleaner, I bought enough filters that I could change the filters and put new ones on uh, three or four times. In other words, I've changed them once, put new ones on once from the originals. Uh, I've got enough here to change them right now if I want to. And I've got two more back in storage. In other words, I can change, put brand new ones on two more times if I want to. I don't want to. Now, if you want to know how this was made, I actually did a video on it almost five years ago when I made it. It's just got a furnace fan in here at the top. This, this, this whole box is basically hollow. I'll put a link to that series in the comments below. That is if I remember. Now I'm going to vacuum these out and I'll show you how they get to almost the place where they're new. Uh, is it as good as new? Of course not. Uh, but it's sure a lot cheaper. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you how it goes here. And uh, in the meantime, uh, you might want to watch the video on how this was made. Now, did the brush possibly damage the uh, filter slightly so that it's not quite as efficient as it once was? Uh, uh, you know, as far as being able to filter out the really, really fine particles? Well, it's not only probable, it's probably likely. But it's more than good enough for getting sawdust out of the air. And uh, just in case you don't want to be bothered watching the videos on how this thing was made, uh, maybe I can show you the inside of the top. Okay, it's just an old furnace fan. The lower part is completely hollow. And these are just sort of held in with the little pins. And of course, once it starts up, there's, you know, if they're being sucked in, I'd have a hard time pulling them out if I wanted to. Anyway, get the rest of it cleaned up and we'll get back to the clock. Okay, I don't think there's much use putting these pins back in here because I am planning on painting this same color. And uh, let's just see here what it's going to look like. Remember, it was pretty clunky before. All right. Now that looks a lot better than that piece of junk that was on there. No. Okay, our slot is working really good. So I can adjust these from the outside. However, it would be really nice if there was some sort of a little track so that this would slide back and forth and just, you know, until I get it uh, tweaked just the right place. And, um, you know, I'll have a, you know, hole here and here and some here and here. And once I get it in exactly the right place, then I'll fasten it really securely. But in the meantime, like I say, it would be nice if there was sort of a track. 
And I think what I'm going to do is, being as if this is about half an inch wider than this is, I'm going to have uh, pins coming out like one here and one here, spaced just right. Yeah, sounds good to me. I'm not going to glue these in place because I want to paint this piece as well. But at least we'll kind of get an idea of how it's going to go here. Okay. So I want this slot to be able to go there. Okay. Oh yeah, that's going to be just fine. Okay, now I'll just do this one the same way, and I think that will be okay. Now, I do feel kind of bad about painting that beautiful oak. Yet on the other hand, I don't think I could use it for anything else now anyway. <laughs> 